I'm Dr. Stacy Chalmers at Bloomington Normal Audiology, and welcome to I Hear You, where the audiologists at BNA answer your hearing-related questions. Megan in Bloomington asks, how can I tell if my child has hearing loss? Well, that's a great question that a lot of parents ask, and obviously if it's a very young child, they may not be able to tell you that they're having trouble hearing, or they may not know any different if they're born with hearing loss and that's just what is normal for them. There are certain things you can watch for even as young as in a newborn or infant. With newborns, they should be startling to loud sounds or upset by something sudden and loud in the environment. By about three months of age, they would usually be calming to their parents' voice. And when they can start to turn their head, they should be turning toward the source of a sound in the environment. By about a year old, most babies will start imitating sounds and even simple words that they're hearing. As your child gets a little bit older, they, they will start to develop their speech and language. And if you're noticing delays in their language development or just concerns with their speech, those are definitely signs that you may want to have their hearing check, talk to their pediatrician, and they can get you referred for a hearing evaluation or speech and language evaluation. Older children may not always recognize their name or notice when you're calling them from another room. And as they start to get into the school age, they might start to have academic difficulties, or you might be hearing concern from the teacher that they're not paying attention. They might prefer TV or music be up louder than you would expect. And also you may just notice something simple like their balance is a little bit off or maybe there are some unexplained falls. And those are other signals just to have a hearing test. So if you notice any of those warning signs, it's probably a good idea to talk to an audiologist, have a hearing check, or discuss with your child's pediatrician. Hope that helps. If you have more questions, let us know. I'm Dr. Stacy Chalmers at Bloomington Normal Audiology, and we're here for you.